September 11th of 2008. And since then, uh, we've been dealing with the DEP and the uh, gas industry to try to get something resolved here. Um, every, every time we think we're, you know, we're getting somewhere with it, we get, you know, what, five steps back. Um, we, we had a water buffalo in the beginning for about a month and a half, and then they, uh, they put a uh, system in our house. The DEP finally took that offline because it wasn't working good. So then we went back to a water buffalo again. If you don't know what a water buffalo is, it's a big plastic tank. It's really a cattle tank, so they're really treating us like cattle. Um, it's 550 gallons, and they come and fill it up every day with uh, town water, so we have water in the house for uh, showering, for washing dishes, um, you know, clothes, things like that. Now, if they don't come every day, we, we will run out. So, they've been doing that now since October 27th of uh, 09. So it's been over a year and a half that we've been living with the uh, water buffalo. And they also bring us some spring water to drink once a week. They bring us five gallon jugs and one gallon jugs. Now, the thing that gets me the most is, is this, this uh, gas company, Capital Oil and Gas, they deny any wrongdoing in the area. Now we have a pre-drilled test to show that our well was perfectly fine with no contamination at all. Within a, a month after drilling, we had a uh, contaminated well. Now I'm sure if they didn't cause a problem, they wouldn't have been, they wouldn't be doing all the things they're doing like bringing us water. Now I know they're under a consent order through the DEP to bring us this water, but they tried to prove in the first month or two that it was my fault. They tried more to prove that it was my fault, like either the pipes in the house or a foggy well drilling, you know, the uh, construction of the well, instead of trying to, instead of taking the blame themselves. And we've been living like this for almost three years now with the contaminated well, and they still will not take blame. They said they didn't do it. It wasn't their fault. Now, we have proof. We have so much proof. We have an isotope test done on our well that shows that the gas was... Uh, from down below, production gas. Now, the DEP did the same study and, and they found the same thing. And the DEP has held them responsible for the contamination of our wells in, in the Demick area like that. Uh, then we were supposed to get a water line pumped to us from Montrose down. Uh, that was with the last administration with uh, Secretary Hanger. And then they got so much opposition from our own neighbors that didn't think we were worthy of clean water, that they finally put an end to it. Now, contrary to what everybody believes and what they would have you believe, they want everybody to think that we took the money from the consent order. Now, what they were doing was, was supposedly giving us double the value of our house. But they didn't tell you that, what they didn't say, but it wasn't, it wasn't double the market value, it was double the tax value of the house. So, there's a big difference there. Right, that, that money was supposed to go to clean, you know, for water, for your water supply. In other words, if we would have taken that money, and to this day, none of the people in the lawsuit against Cabot has taken the money. Now, um, if we would have taken that money, that would have left them off the hook. And I was told by people in the DEP that it was my problem to clean the water. I had to spend my money or the money that they were supposed to give me from that consent order and to clean up my own water. They said that they would put an in-house system in just for the gas, but all the other contaminants, that was my responsibility for life. Now, I don't know, you, you do something wrong, you should be held accountable for your mistakes. Now, they, they came here, they did wrong, and what they did, they, they put them into a, a, a nine square mile moratorium in Bennett. They can't do any drilling or fracking in the area, but they can go to the outside of the area and do anything they want. They can drill as much as they want, frack as much as they want, and still be making money over there by getting, getting the gas out. Now, it's, that's, not, that's not right. Somebody does something wrong, and you tell them, you can't go to that area and do wrong anymore, but you can go outside that area and keep on working. That is not right. So, you know, what I'm pushing for, I want to ban on this cabin oil and gas statewide until they rectify the problems in Denver. Because we can't, we can't be living like this forever. 
with all this. So that, that's why we're here. We're here to educate everybody. Contrary to what everybody's saying out in the media and everything, you know, they're trying to say that we're the bad ones here. We're, we are the victims here. We have been abused by this gas industry like you can't believe. We have to heat the water in the buffaloes during the winter to keep it from freezing. We pay it ourselves. Nobody else pays it but us. We pay the total cost for the electric. Now, it's, you know, they should not be allowed to, to be drilling in this state if they can't fix the problem. That's the problem. That's the whole thing. They can't fix the problem. That's why they haven't fixed it yet. Now, this, you know, the DEP, as far as I'm concerned, isn't doing their job if they're still, a, if they're still allowing them to be in, this, in the state of Pennsylvania drilling like that. They, they should be doing some more investigating of it, and they should have shut them down two and a half years ago when this problem first happened or you wouldn't be having all the problems that we have right now. So, you know, all we gotta say is, it's not good, and it's up to you guys to make your own decision what you're gonna do, whether you decide to lease, whether you let them in or not. And I'll tell you, on the ride up here, what a beautiful country you have here, don't let them run in on you. 